Everybody, my name is Juan Isaac Bear from Bear Shine Clap, and today we're going to be working with the Atwood. Oh, whoa! I forgot that we have a new smart board. If we have a pulley, a regular pulley, and obviously because we want to keep this simple, friction is zero. It's a magic pulley. The mass is zero, and the rope's mass is not considered either. Point masses. So, this point mass, which we're going to call A, is 5 kilograms. And this point mass, which we're going to call B, is 15 kilograms. So, given that currently they are 1 meter apart, and they both start from rest. Just give me a second. And they both start from rest. Then, what is the time they will take before they get to the same position? Vertically, obviously. So, how can we find that out? Well, first, we need to find the acceleration. So, let's start by drawing a free body diagram. First, for mass A, and then for mass B. So, for mass A, we're going to draw it right up here. We'll actually make a separate space for all the equations and stuff. So, here is our point mass. And now, what we're going to do, we're going to draw all the forces acting on it. But thankfully, this is pretty simple. There's only the force of gravity. So, that would be M-A-G. And the force of tension, Ft. And since this is the smaller mass, acceleration is positive because if this one goes down, this one's gonna go up, yada yada, blada blada. So the acceleration is positive. Meanwhile, for B, let me switch back to white. We have B right over here, and we're going to draw the lines, which are going to be the same. This is MBG. And this is Ft, and the acceleration is going to be negative. It's going to go down because it's the larger mass. So now, let's find out their accelerations. So, Ft minus Mag is going to be equal to Maa. And A here is positive, so no sign changes. So here, Ft is simple, Mag plus Maa. So now, what about this one? Well, A is negative here, so Ft minus Mbg, don't forget to switch over your variables, it's a different mass now, is equal to minus Mba, because our acceleration is negative. And remember, the acceleration is going to be the same for both of these guys, because the velocity that this one's going to go up has to be the same velocity this one is going to go down. The rope can't magically grow or shrink. So, uh, that means that this A is the exact same as this A. Just keep that in mind. So, Ft is MBG minus MBA. Now, we're going to equate these two. Because this Ft has to be the same. I mean, it's the same rope pulling on both of them. So, we get MAG plus MAA is equal to MBG minus MBA. So now we can just solve for A. It's pretty simple here. So we have MAA plus MBA is equal to MBG minus MBA. No, not MBA. MAG. So M we have A times MA plus MB is equal to G. Sorry, I forgot the equal sign. G times MB minus MA. So we have A is equal to G times MB minus MA over 
MB plus MA. Yes, I did rearrange them. Cry about it. Okay, so now MB is 15 kilograms and MA is 5 kilograms. Let's plug that in. We have 10. Yes, I am using 10. Uh, times, well, we have MB minus MA, 15 minus 5 over MB plus MA, 15 plus 5. So we have 10 times uh, 10 over 20, which is 1 half. And 10 times 1 half is just 5 meters per second squared. Never forget your units, kids. So now, here's the thing. Oh, well, one of them is going to be traveling up and one of them is going to be traveling down. Because they're both not going to be at rest after we start the timer. So, that means that mm, well, uh, they're not, one of them isn't going to have to tra travel a whole one meter. That means that we can express dA, the distance that A travels upward, as half a t squared, where t is the time it takes for them to meet, which is obviously going to be constant. And the distance that b travels is going to be also one half a t squared. And we know the, the, the distance that dA travels plus the distance that db travels has got to be one because otherwise they wouldn't meet, you know? So we've got half a t squared plus half a t squared is equal to 1. So we've got a t squared is equal to 1, or 5 t squared is equal to 1. Yes, we plugged in the a. t squared is 1 over 5, and t is equal to the square root of 1 fifth, or if you want to be fancy, 1 over root 5. That's it. Thank you everybody for watching, and don't forget to celebrate Black History Month. We'll see you in the next one.